Wagwan, wagwan, people, them. Is my mic in? Yes, it is. Um, oops, got my blanket showing, my, my, my old man blanket. The, 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 the face might be youthful, yeah, but these bones, these bones are weary. <laughs> bones are weary. I'm a blanket truck. Yeah, it's kind of cut, like it's like really cold in the UK at the moment. So even with the heating on, it's just freezing. So I've got my blanket on emergency standby. Anyway, anyway, what going people then? Hope everybody is good. Uh, if this is the first video that you're watching of mine for a little while, then I hope you had a great festive season and happy, happy 2024. Um, so first things up, um, just to let you know, that I've now decided to do my channel full time, um, which is very, very scary. <laughs> very, very scary, but also really, really exciting. Um, but it does mean I should hopefully be able to get through my reaction requests a lot quicker. So um, for example, I know that like, my Prince journey has kind of been a little bit halty because I was kind of doing like one song here, one song there. Um, so this is actually going to be um, an album review. So I'm actually going to review all of 1999 uh, because I was conscious that 1999, which I, I reacted to, well, if you saw my last two videos, you saw that I had, I had a bit of a, a faux pas. <laughs> um, so I ended up um, reacting to uh, Raspberry Beret. Is it Raspberry Beret? Um, and, and well, thinking Raspberry Beret was 1999 and then realising that 1999 was 1999. Um, so my next one was going to be Little Red Corvette. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to do the whole album. So um, this is probably going to be on Patreon uh, before it gets on to YouTube. Um, but what I might then do is try and like break it up and, and put some on YouTube. And, and anyway, so... I mean, I've already reacted to, to 1999, but I'm, I'm happy to listen to it again. Um, so we're going to start with that. And then uh, we've got Little Red Corvette, Delirious. Let's, let's, pretend <laughs> let's pretend we're... What? Let's pretend we're married. Oh, okay. Um, DMSR, DMSR, Automatic. Is that automatic? If it is, that's a tune. No, it's not him. <laughs> that's not him. Uh, something in the water. Uh, free. Lady cab driver. All the critics love you in New York. An international lover. Um, so I'm going to get these up with the lyrics as well. And uh, yeah. Wicked. Okay, let's start with 1999. Ready to get funky. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. I only want you to have some fun. It's good to know. Come <laughs> on, if he didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's just funky bad, isn't it? Hey! 
it's 1999. It's of course, man. Helmet on is the next shoe, and I. Mom, why does everybody have a bomb? Dance music, sex romance. You know, I'm gonna Mom. pause that. I'm gonna pause that in case it has gone into the next one. All I can say here is, <laughs> so <laughs> my plan was <laughs> to sit down here with my mint tea in my Harry Potter mod, I'm like, yeah man, did the album review, mm, mm, that's great, yeah, see now, yeah, I'll be back in a second, I need a, I need a drink, drink, so, I'll be back in two minutes, <laughs> it's Tuesday, and all I want to do now is party, <laughs> right, so, I'm back, and I got myself a drink, <laughs> mm. Now, obviously, drink is part of the kids, um, but I'm just like the 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 hot the hot mug of tea ain't cutting it. Sorry, not listening to Prince. Okay, so let's dive back in as I'm not sure whether this is an interlude or if it's the next song or if it's still elements of 1999. But let's see. Why is everybody on the bomb? I mean. 
Oh, I think I, th I think it was. I think that was still the elements of 1999 because it sounds like a whole new song. So this is dot DMS DMSR dance music sex romance. Hmm. Mm. You're the kind of person that believes in making out once Love them and leave them fast mm. I guess I must be done Shed a pocket full of horses Trojan and some of them used I thought it was Saturday night I guess that makes it alright You see what have I got to lose And honey I say Big red coffee Oh! Ignore me. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to give like a little comment on each one. Like, so I think, yeah, so this one for me, once I realized that it wasn't DMSR, DM, DMSR, 
Oh. Wait a second. Um, sorry. Yeah, once I realised that it wasn't D... Once I realised it wasn't DMS, DMSR, um, because on Google, I've got the track track list up, uh, and I was reading it across instead of reading it down. Um, so yeah, once I realised it wasn't that, I was like, ah, oh, okay. The B is cool. I think it it grew on me more. Like I mean, I like I liked it from the beginning, but by the time it got like midway through to the end, and I, and I guess it's the same with any song you've never heard before. It's a bit like ah, oh, okay. Like I'm just trying to figure out like what's happening in the song. Um, but again, it's still got, it's got like those um, almost like organ, like like church organ keys in there, like mixed in with that funky beat. Um, and, and again, his lovely vocals in that as well. And some like really cool things doing at the end of the track. And then the, the guitar comes in more like, it. that was an absolute tune. Absolute tune. I I'm, I'd probably need to listen to it again to really understand where the little red Corvette was a metaphor for something. Do you know what I mean? It's about something else. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but yes, a, a great follow on from 1999. Like that, that was, that was, that was really nice. I liked that. Um, so I guess this one then is going to be, do, 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 do. Um, and Google catches up. Hello, Mr. Google. Uh, so this one's going to be, Oh, it's because it keeps changing, that's why. One minute it's going across, next it's going down. So the next one's going to be Delirious. So this is Delirious. Okay, cool.
So, I feel like with that one, I feel like there were elements of it that I liked. And then, it, you know what it is? That noise, that, that synth noise reminds me of like being in the arcades and stuff and hearing like, like, a, like, a, like a Space Invaders type of thing, which is probably very offensive to anyone that really likes that song. But I, the, it, it's just, I, or, or a little bit like, you know those, um, I don't know if anyone's ever played like a clarinet or like an oboe or anything, you get those, uh, the reed, and like you can make it make a noise and stuff, like, and it's just, it's, I don't know, I don't know. That noise was just, um, I don't know. But then there were other parts of it where it was, where it was getting down, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. And then the noise will come back. And then at one point, because it, it, it gone, um, I think when it's coming towards like the end, like it gone and it was kind of just playing it without a that. So it was just the beat. And I was like, oh, that's a, I like this bit. And then it gradually came back, but the synth was like lower and then it gradually got higher again so it came back in. Like, so when it was in my head that it was a synth noise and it wasn't just this really like, <laughs> um, I didn't mind it then. Cause like, oh, I, cause I like a synth sound. But then I think I was just trying to convince myself that I liked it. It was like, I don't think I didn't. So I'd probably say for me, least favorite so far. We're only, we're only three down. Um, but yeah, probably my least favorite one so far. Um, but the elements of it that were okay. But um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that that noise. But if the, if the aim, because the song's called Delirious, right? So if the aim is to be all kind of discombobulated and dis disorientated, then I guess objective achieved. Okay, so this is, let's pretend we're, what again? Let's, let's pretend we're married. So I don't want to keep finding it hard to say, let's pretend we are married. Let's pretend we're married. It is seven minutes long.
Ich noch bei ihm. point to that in there really which is like well i ain't really looking to to be with nobody like and if you if you're my person you don't business let me go and do something else then let, let, let you there let's pretend that we're married tonight yeah let, let's us have a great time and i um really want bad i want you real bad <laughs> i want to taste right out your mouth <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, I was not expecting that. That was a tune. That was a vibe. Like, because again, when you, when you look at um, songs that are like seven minutes long or whatever, like, you, you, you don't get that. You don't get that. I mean, most songs these days are like three minutes, three minutes, 20 seconds. Like, some are like less than that. Two minutes, two minutes, 20, two minutes. So, to get an actual track that's got like a journey and stuff, that's amazing. Um, so, yeah, I liked that. I definitely enjoyed that more than Delirious. Um, so yeah, so far 1999, Little Red Corvette, and um, Let's Pretend Like We're Married. Yeah, all up there for me. All up there for me. Tune! Tune, 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 tune. So this is DMSR. DMSR. This is dance music. Sex. Something. Mmm. 
Yes, it's nice.
Ooh. That's tasty. consenting in that environment. <laughs> that was a tune. From the minute the bass kicked in from the beginning of the track, I'm like, this is a bit of me. This is a bit of me. I, I straight away could see myself out in one little corner, in one little one drink in my hand, yeah, doing a nice little two step, just that, you know, just that, that grown, smooth, the dotted like, oi, oi. This is a bit of me. <laughs> this is a bit of me. This might be my favorite one so far. Um, more than 1999. Mm, I think so. I think so. I think I think that's my favorite one so far. Um, the beat was sick. Um, good length as well. I mean, Prince is out here talking. Yeah. So I I think I need to remember that he because in my head at the same point of thinking like this supposed alleged real who knows rivalry between him and Michael Jackson like I, I, I can't I can't imagine hearing Michael Jackson say these things um so it's just like he said what <laughs> pod on um but I kind of like the fact that he say these things in a, in a way that I mean it's just it's just keeping it real isn't it um and this might definitely be an album that I need to like you know make sure I've got on for you know, other things. <laughs> this is definitely, um, particularly this track, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so the next one is automatic. I can't believe I thought it was that. They're rolling, they're automatic.
Favorite bit so far.
tell if this has gone into the next song or not. No. No, it hasn't. <laughs> okay, I need to sort it break, but also that tune I felt like it was lasting forever. I sort of, uh, 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 uh. But it was a tune though, it was a tune though, it was a tune. Just, I feel like even with Delirious so far, even that wasn't like my favourite, like this whole album to me would absolutely get rinsed. Like I can imagine if I went out and they had like a like a funky section or a funky bit or whatever where they're like playing some tunes like this, I would be skanking my ass off. Like just met no bones about it. Like I'm in my chair and I'm just very much just trying to keep it together just to be in the chair. Like do you know what I mean? But and I'm probably I'm trying not to say too much over the song, so I want to just hear like how the song goes and what happens with the song. But then there are moments where I can't contain myself. But like that song again, like the it's the vibe for me. I mean, to be honest, I probably would need to go back and try and listen to what he was actually singing about. Um, but there's only so much you can really take from like lyrics and stuff as you're hearing it. I'm, it's more the melody, the beat, how things are fitting with how he's doing it. There are bits that like um, where they took away some of the kind of melody and just had the beat and like well some part of the melody, maybe some part of the beat as well, some part of the track and left it quite naked and that was quite cool. I'm having a really great time with this album so far. Like a really, really great time. And I feel like if I was born in this era, I would have rinsed this album. I would have rinsed this album dry. Like it's just, it's just me. It's, it's everything. It, it, it just gets your shoulders going. You can't, you can't help like, but just be like, and then, and I know that I've got a really awful like um, stank face as well. We, we just like, mm. Mm. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, okay, so hold that thought. I shall be back in two seconds. I just need a toilet break. Okay, okay, okay. So the next track, which I think was about to start, was free. So we've got four more tracks left. There's about half an hour left of here. So let's dive back straight in. So we've got free. Let's see what it's saying. Ooh. This is busy. Oh, 
mama don't need me. What's the thing? What's the scare? Guess you think I'm just another one of your friends. You're just shaking, I'm still hearing it. So I think that one was probably my least favourite, um, even more so than Delirious. I think I think I was on the cusp of liking it, um, and then he blew my eardrum with that scream. <laughs> um, I think I didn't like the the doodle 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 doodle, like the kind of computer vibe to it. But again, I mean, it is called something the water does not compute. So I, in terms of what the song is meant to be about, I guess it's very in keeping to the theme of the song and the title and stuff. Um, I just don't know whether it's something that I would enjoy playing again. Like, mm, not mm, mm. I, I mean, enough that no 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 no. Okay, so next one, <laughs> Lady Cab Driver, okay. Also, um, if you keep seeing me staring at the screen, it's because the, the album art for Prince 1999, there are so many things in each of these letters, I just, it just keep, oh no, no, what are you doing? That's gone too far now. Um, that just keeps drawing my attention. But I'm just like, just, just what? What is that? What is that? Yeah. Okay. I'll put it back a little bit. Now, it's the end of the song. This is Lady Cab Driver. Don't 
Instant change of pace. Plays for extreme. Mm. That's a tune. Absolute tune. But it's still got those like big, like dramatic beats in there. I feel like that was needed. I feel like that was kind of needed. For like a like a like a palate cleanser type of tune, like but just mmm. I liked that. Liked that. So this is Lady Cab Driver. Uh, and I put three up there. Definitely with them top three. Top three.
This is giving like very like top end like bar. This is all. It's funky, but it's quite mellow. Roll it up, roll it up. Not like this. This is for the cab, you have to drive for no money at all. This is for why I wasn't born like my brother, handsome and tall. This is for politicians who are bored and believe in war. And this man, yeah, that's for me, that's who that one's for. This is for discrimination and egotism who think supreme. And this is for whoever taught you how to kiss and design a jeans. Ah, uh, that one's for, that one's for where you have to live. This one's for the rich, not all of them, just the greedy The ones that don't know how to give This one's for your 77 and tourists at Disneyland And this one, oh yeah That's the one, that's for That's for the, the creator of man This is for the sun and moon Stars, tourists at Disneyland This is for the ocean, the sea, the shore This is for that's for you, that's who that one's for This is for the women So beautifully complex <laughs> This one's for love Without sex This is for the wind that blows No matter how fast or slow Not knowing where I'm going This galaxy's better Not having a place to go Now I know Prince is a bad mama job of man Jesus Wait
in the team. What are you doing, sir? This is a shame. You know, the reason, yeah. The reason that I was laughing in that tune is because I had no idea that he was talking. I mean, unless I've misheard what was going on in that last track. He was banging, he was banging some lady in the car, right? <laughs> he, he, was, he was banging the lady cab driver. So for me, I thought he was talking about, you know, I don't know where I'm going. Like you need to run at the window quick because, you know, talking about life in general, you know, sometimes people treat their taxi drivers as like therapists and stuff because it's a, it's a drive. You're never going to see them again. So you just end up chatting, 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 chatting. So I just thought he was talking about that, about life. And then I, all this, <laughs> <laughs> and this one's for, and this one's for, and this one. I'm, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and obviously, at the start of the track, I was like, oh, yeah, this is funky, but it's like mellow. And it still really was quite mellow, but like, it definitely ramped up a little bit more as well. I, that, that, yeah, this is, I, this, this would also be, I think, I think DMSR uh, free. And Lady Cab Driver are probably like my top, top, top. Like I like a lot of them. Like it was a Night Ninety Nine and Little Red Corvette. Um, Automa Automatic was good as well. Um, and um, and Let's Pretend Not Be Married. Like I liked that too. But I think those three: DMSR, DMSR, Free, and Lady Cab Driver are probably like my top three. Top, 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 top three. Um, right, all the critics love you in New York. Oh, well, thank you, sir. All the critics love you in New York. You don't have to keep it neat. They'll still think it's neat in New York. You can wear what you want to. It doesn't matter in New York. You could cut off all your hair. I don't think they care. But don't 
I wonder why New York. The reason that you're cool is cause you're from the old school and they know you. And that's my travesty because that much oh. I was it playing. I was gonna fast forward it. Mm. Tell what I said, Mike, sorry. So now that one just seemed a bit, a bit repetitive. Okay, so this is at 103.43. 103.43. Yeah, I think with that one, it just felt a little bit repetitive and I wasn't really feeling... It just, it just felt like a bit of a nothing beat. Not a nothing beat, like the, the, none of them are nothing beats, but in comparison to the things I've listened to already, uh, it didn't, like, to me, didn't match or beat any of the other ones like so I was just a bit like mm. and because then the beat was just was just, just just the same you know man something you the creators love you in New York tonight I wasn't really feeling that one um okay so um the last one then is international lover Ooh. Ooh. I bet this one is absolute filth Yeah. Let me take you out 
This is grown called music. This is a shame.
Well, <sighs> you know, it's really interesting because when I think of albums now, they can be so like disassociated from like the out like the songs that are on there and stuff. Like for me, this felt like an album. Like this felt like a product of work that was themed throughout. Because if I had to like coin what the last hour and ten minutes has been, like in three words, well I pick four words. One of them isn't part of, part of the alliteration, but I say beats. In terms of like the funky beats, like the beats, 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 there's so many amazing beats in this. But if I had to sum up in like three words, I'd be like synth, sex, and screams. <laughs> like it was just, and 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 not what I was really expecting. I mean, bearing in mind that, like I said, I didn't really, I've never really delved that much into Prince before. So the bits that I've seen of him so far have been he's an amazing guitarist, amazing showman, uh, he's got vocals, um, like he kind of does his own thing and don't really business about nobody. Like, um, but this very, very, like, like particularly this album anyway, there were songs in here that I didn't think had anything to do with nothing related to no Nucky. <laughs> um, and actually, well, Hearing that, uh, uh, <laughs> that's definitely made me go, okay, well actually then, that might be not what I thought it was. Um, that was that was sick. That was, I, I thoroughly, from start to finish, even the tracks I didn't necessarily enjoy as much, like the whole experience of just listening to that. I'm so glad actually that I didn't just do it one by one by one by one by one. Like I'm not saying that I won't do other albums one by one by one by one, but like it's really, awesome to kind of just just to hear the tracks so now that i've listened to them as well it'd be really interesting to see like which ones have got videos and what he did to bring those videos to life like um you know e even if we just go straight back to just the title like as i said there were so many moments throughout the, that whole reaction where I, my mind was just drawn my, or my eyesight was drawn anyway to the, the the album cover because within those letters there's so many different things that are happening like i'm sure there's like within that p is that like heaven? And then you've got the symbols of like man and woman um, and peace, it looks like, that are falling down from there into what looks like an inferno. Is that people like falling from heaven into hell? And then in the R, like, it looks like it's upside down and like you've got what looks like some kind of hellish hand crawling from like the under underworld almost into what looks like bright sky and again what could be like heaven at the I don't know. And that one looks like a mushroom or like something else a bit phallic. <laughs> so all of it is just it's it's all just very psychedelic y and like particularly that song DMSR, like there were so many parts of that that were like I could imagine, I don't know, like it being, again, this intoxicating, like, environment of all these otherworldly things. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't seem like it's just a very straightforward, like, love album or anything like that. It's a funky, like, dance, vibes, beats, synth, the synths. I love a good synth. Don't get me wrong, there's some synth sounds that I can't mess with. Like I said, there's, there's one in um, something in the water um, does not compute. That one, I, I, I wasn't feeling that. And there was something I think, um, I think I said I liked, oh, it was Delirious. And there's that noise that was in Delirious. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Like I said, it was a little bit annoying. Um, and and I also didn't like all the critics love you in New York. I mean, that was the only one that, but I also think had that been earlier on in the reaction, I think I probably would have given it the time to just to finish. But I think by that point I was like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna hear any more of that. Um, but to think there's one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of 11, that I absolutely loved. I think that's pretty decent going. Um, International Lover was definitely 
I think if I had to say what my top four, I mean, I, I, I do like 1999 and that did get me. So I can't say that that's not in the top three, but I guess for the ones that I hadn't heard before, DMS, DMS, DMSR is there. I can't, I can't say that properly. DMSR is in there. Free is in there. Um, International Love is in there. And Lady Cab Driver is in there too. So those four are probably... And, and Little Red Corvette, though, I didn't, I didn't really like that. You know what? I haven't got to pick. I, I, I enjoyed the album. Do you know what I mean? I enjoyed the album. And um, I'm just really glad I've watched it. And, and listen to it and, and been able to embrace it. Definitely couldn't have done that with no mint tea. I'm not, I mean, mint tea has been good to me, don't get me wrong. But when you're, in a, when you're in a vibe like that, like you just need a good long drink. I mean, good, long, again, drink wisely, but um, yeah, good long drink and just vibes. Like I'm prone to like a Luke party where, you know, you know them ones where you're in the kitchen. <laughs> so I walk up in the morning, just skanking out. Like quite happily, I could have that album on on a Friday after after doing all my reactions. Oh, oh, oh. And I think there's definitely some tunes in there that I'll be adding to um, some other grown folk playlists as well, which I think are important to, to also have. So I think this is this is an important album. So, um, and it was, if I find the user, um, oh, KBXP6DQ, um, who has basically been a little bit of a tour guide as well. So thank you for um, advising that I go back before I start forward because this was a really great like opening. Like it was, again, I'm not sure exactly when this was, um, but my gut would say it was in the eighties. Um, and everything about it screamed that time. And I think there's elements of that that make me go, I wish, in a way that I could have been born in that era because imagine going out then like and having these kind of tunes out on the dance floor, do you know what I mean? Going out looking all sick, do you know what I mean? Maybe a little Jerry Curl. <laughs> Maybe a little Jerry Curl, do you know what I mean? Some big old platforms and whatever, like just doing your thing. I imagine that would, would have just been a, such a, a vibesy, vibesy time. Um, but it's almost like a time capsule. Like it's it just listening to this from start to finish, it's like, you have just ventured back in time and like just, you know, the, the the piecing together of the melodies and how he puts them together and how it kind of starts from one angle and goes on a journey. Like each song, I think, kind of kind of did that. Um, and I don't know, I feel like it's just, I'm not dogging albums today because there are so many merits of today's music, but there is something quite timeless about listening to tracks like DMSR or... Uh, international lover um that 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 tell a story that and 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 don't just leave so much to the imagination they're going to tell you the story <laughs> you're going to hear the full story with the moaning and the groaning and you know like like let the, so many like metaphors and <laughs> um, and just bars that he's that he's dropped in those songs I, I just, I, I'm just in awe of that. Really, really in awe of that. That was brilliant. Um, and I know that Brenda has also um, been a big uh, proponent for me to try and get into a bit more print. So very good shout, guys. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, so I think I will dice it up and I will share like bits to... Um, I'm hoping they let me share it because I know that in general, like I know Prince copyright stuff is uh, is very, very tight. So... We'll have to see how that goes. It was 1982. Ah, oh, before I was born, man. Like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, I would love to know, like, first off, thank you for watching this with me, if you did. Um, I appreciate there's no video here, so it is literally just me vibing to the tip for the, to the songs, but, um, but that's cool, man. Like, sometimes it's nice to just be lost in the music and be lost in the tune. So if you came along with me for the ride, thank you very, very much. Um, I would love to know what your favourite tune was, um, and particularly if you were from that era, like, are there any songs that you continue to rock out to now? Um, of the ones that I liked, are there any that you agree with, or any that you like? What do you, what do you, what do you mean you didn't like that? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't like, you look good in New York? You can keep that one. You can, you can definitely keep that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this, then please drop me a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And I do have both a YouTube membership 
and I've got a Patreon uh, as well, both of which uh, are great ways to kind of support the channel. And because I'm now doing this full time, um, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so yeah, for that, obviously you can get access to things before they come to YouTube. Uh, you get more access to me um, and you actually get ahead of the curve in regards to your um, reaction requests as well. So there's lots of reasons to, to jump on board. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all on our next one. Ha, 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 ha.